Hello everybody, welcome to the lecture series of C and data structures. In this lecture, we are going to understand some basic concepts of C. So, uh, in this lecture, we are going to learn about the structure of a C program. We will be writing a very simple hello world program. We will be understanding how we can build a program. And we will be doing some practical exercise where we will be writing a sample program, compiling it and executing it. So let's get started. Structure of a C program. So this is how the C program structure looks like. The first section of a C program is a documentation. This is not a mandatory uh, section, but uh, this always helps to understand what your C program is all about. Anybody reading uh, your C file can get a first level understanding like what your C program is what inputs it will take and what output it will give. We will be having a section called preprocessors where preprocessors is nothing but a set of library functions that you are using in your C program. You will be having a section for global declarations where you will be declaring uh, variables that will be used throughout your program. You will be having a main function. Main function is a very important. Your main function is an entry point of your program. Uh, any, any C program will always start with the main function then you will be having user defined functions so user defined functions are optional you, it depends upon your logic you want to have user defined functions or not global declarations are also optional you want to have some global variables or not documentation is also optional uh, most of the time uh, you need to include at least one library file for example standard input output file or uh, it depends upon your program if you want to use any library or not so this is how your C program will look like this is a very simple C program which says hello world at the orange color you can see I have written this is my first C program. This is nothing but uh, declare uh, uh, documentation where you are saying that the my program is about my first C program. So anybody reading saying that okay, this could be a hello world program. So in this uh, green color, you can see I have defined preprocessors. Preprocessors uh, here I am using standard input output dot h. This is a library file and main method. Main method has one statement called printf. Printf is nothing but a function which is defined in stdiu.h and this method will be printing hello world in my screen. Uh, you can see I have not used uh, global variables or any user defined functions as those are optional. But Anyway, if you are writing a complex program, you definitely need those. So we'll be do understanding what a C program is, how to build a C program. So for building a C program, you need to have a C compiler. Uh, for this, throughout this lecture, we'll be using GCC compiler. Uh, GCC compiler is very known open source compiler and uh, it is a very powerful compiler also. To compile your C file, you can uh, you will be using this command gcc minus o output file name and input file name. For example, you will be giving gcc minus o hello world and your input file name which is hello world.c. Hello world.c is nothing but a file where you have written your program and uh, this is output file which will be generated after the compilation. So the output file could be uh, either hello world.exe or hello world.o. It depends upon which platform you are running this command. So, this is how your program is built. So, it goes through uh, this, uh, this cycle. So, uh, first, you will give hello world.c and stdio.h to your compiler. Uh, before compiling it will be preprocessed preprocess is nothing but 
merging your all the required files into one file for example it will merge your header file and your .c file into one file and produce .i file this .i file will be compiled by the GCC compiler and the GCC compiler will check if your program has some compilation error if it is uh, successful this the compilation is successful it will generate an assembly uh, level file which is .s file which is uh, nothing but assembly level codes assembly level codes will be again uh, checked by assembler and the assembler will generate a .o file .o file is nothing but uh, machine level instructions these machine level instructions will be uh, taken by the linker the linker takes multiple .o files if it if the multiple o files are present merge these and produce a single executable file so this is how uh, in a, a, at a high level your c program builds so let's get started let's get started with installing a gcc compiler so uh, to, uh, you need a, uh, we will be using a code blocks for uh, code blocks tool for building our C program you can go to codeblocks.org and you can download the editor you can download the binary release I'll be downloading this file for Windows from sourceforge.net so after downloading and installing a code blocks we'll be getting uh, you can open code blocks editor and we'll be getting this history you can uh, create your uh, C file like this you go to file new file C or C++ source and select C and give path so I have given hello world dot C so it will generate one empty file called hello world dot C uh, I can in this file you can write your sample program so let's begin by writing the documentation Okay, let's declare some preprocessors. It will be hash include stdio.h. Then write a main method. Here I am using printf. So this is my very first C program. Here I am have added a documentation. This is my first C program. Here these are my preprocessors. Hash include stdio.io.h is my main method. I am printing hello world and returning zero. So main method you can either returns uh, include a return type or not. So we'll be covering this in later part of the series. But at this point of time, just you can uh, say return zero and save it and build it you can choose build and run so in this section here so after building and running you will be getting this window and here you can say hello you can see hello world is printed so this is how you can write more and more programs you can you can just try it out by yourself and see how 
PSG program works, are you able to generate the output or not? This will be very helpful in later part of the series. Thanks for joining the series.